Hello everyone, it's Bubbles from Venom Fluid Art. Hope you've already started to enjoy the adventure on the Fluid Art Express this week. Hope you watched Shannon from Shambi Fluid Art before me. Isn't she just the best? She rocks my world. Amazing artist and just a gorgeous person. Really too damn cool. <coughs> So, I was figuring, last week we did some blooms on our two different size um, stars. So, this week, I thought we might have some um, fun playing with two different techniques with our swipes. So, what I'm going to do first, we're going to lay some colour down. And the first one I'm going to grab out is this one here, which is a Pebio Red Blue. Because I like when I do, do a swipe is... Um, just to have at least one tube paint. Might be just me, but I just feel like it's that little bit of glue that holds all the pigments together for me. And it works for me, so I just stick with it. So I'm going to put a bit of that down first. And what I figured is we'll do two different styles of swipes using the same color palette. That way you can just see too, you know, when you're starting out, you don't have to really have a big range of um, different colours to get all different effects with the same ones. Save yourself a little bit of money while you're starting out and experimenting. So that's our Pebio down. Now the next one I'm going to go for is a gorgeous eye candy. It's um, Firebird Red and it just absolutely pops. And especially if you um, use it with this Pebio Red Blue. And I'm going to use it with a different eye candy red as well in a minute. And I just absolutely love the two together. They really do stunning things. Especially with your cells, just to get different effects through them. Really stands out. So that is our Firebird Red down. Now I think what we'll do, and don't worry, you slop it, no big deal. We're swiping over that, so who cares? Just have some fun. So the next one we're going to use is our another eye candy. Really pretty orange. Really pretty. I hope the camera can pick up. See that shine? Isn't that gorgeous? So this is Arc Orange. Really, really cool. And I love this because it's probably one of the most easiest eye candy names to pronounce just like with the the gold kin great colors easy to pronounce so now let's lay down some of our orange and i love this orange right off the edge of the red they just go hand in hand together do stunning things so I'll lay a bit down on our side there so I said, don't worry if you slop it or get a drip. It's not a problem in the world. Because when you're painting, it's all about just having fun. So I think now, oh, I always have to ask my guru and my amazing teacher, Venom, what is this red? Senshi Red. Senshi Red, there we go. I won't remember again. I'm sure I'll have to ask him next time too. But isn't that really beautiful? It is a really stunning colour. So what I want to do with that one is lay it between the reds. Because I think it's going to have its place right there. Hopefully it brings some magic through when the CA hits it. Alright, now... This is a yellow that gets me every time because of its name. Really beautiful colour. I'll bring it up so you can have a look at it. But it's got a little bit of like a... Sort of looks like it's got a gold shimmer through it. Really bright, vibrant yellow. And that's... Um, Kinkako G? Yeah, Kinkako G. I'm getting close. You did well. I'm trying, I tell you. Some of them don't make it easy. So what we might do is lay this one in the middle of our red and our orange. Really pretty colour. And this is one of them colours that I don't use really for the colour itself. 
it's the way it blends with the other two that just rocks my world. It's very cool. Very cool indeed. All right, so that is our yellow down. Now, I think for a little bit of glitz and dazzle, we'll get our kin out. Isn't that beautiful? And it's really, like, some pigment golds just seem to fade out into the cells or they um, react with the cell activator so it travels through the artwork. But this, this kin seems to stay really bold on its own, which is really, really cool. So I don't want a really great deal of it, but just enough so we know it's there. Just because it is really bold, I just don't want it to take over everything else. But we still want a bit of its glitz and glamour. So I think that might do us with that one. So for this one, I'm going to use this swipe tool. So this one you can get at the Fluid Art Company. They are fantastic. Just the angle, the shape, and you can use it for so many different things. Like, um... I use it for radials, I use it for these type of swipes, like, I don't really believe that there's one tool for each different technique. I think with um, a lot of things, you can make one tool work in so many different styles. It's just what you get used to and what you're comfortable with. You know, some people may have their rules that you've got to use this one for that, but no! Just do what makes you feel comfortable, and this tool works for me. So I haven't got a really thick layer of CA down. It's just enough to cover the whole head of the tool. So you can see on the side there, there's really nothing in that. And when I turn it, nothing's coming off at all. So it's really not that thick. You don't need a lot. So what we're going to do now is we're going to get our tool and we're going to swipe through our colour. I'm going to take that one off the edge. Look at that orange. Fabulous, isn't it? Just saying, eye candy, you rock our world. I think I just killed that. <laughs> Anyone heard that hit the deck? It's somewhere in the garage. So, what I want to do, <coughs> we're going to grab our handy little skewer out. And I think we'll give this a bit of an abstract feel, hey? So, let's come down. And the joy with these is, it really doesn't have to be anything too fancy to get some really cool effects. So, it doesn't matter if you can't draw. You don't have to. See, I'm really just swelling it through. Nothing special. And there we go. So that's what we're going to start with. Now what we want to do is we're just going to put it down for a minute. Now I might bring it down this way a bit because that's where I swiped off the edge. So we'll get it to come back the other way for us a little bit. So we're not going to go too fast at first because we just want to have a look how she's moving, what she's going to do for us. But I will stop there and just check I don't have any bubbles that are going to pop through white because they annoy me. Sort of frustrate me a little bit. So we'll get rid of them first. So now we'll give it another spin and see so we're moving to that side now. Now I'm going to get going a bit faster so it really opens up. There we go, over the side. Ripper. That was very Australian of me then, wasn't it? So I can see a white dot there. So first thing, wipe your skewer off. That white paint would have just really wrecked my day. Oh, 
All right. So what we might do now is, because I can see where we've been spinning it, we had a little bit of a thicker pool of CA there. And I don't think it's going to do much more for us and give us cool ghosties. So we're just going to put some colour through them. So they look cool. Break it up a little bit. So that would go there. Now I think we can change that just a little bit. And down here, not a big fan of that section. So we'll just pattern that out a little bit. Come into this bit here. That looks a bit better, doesn't it? Alright, so just so we don't get them big bold edges there. Just breaks it up a little bit. We might bring that down. So you can see there's nothing really fancy or crazy that I've done that's hard. But sometimes just keeping it simple, you can get some beautiful effects. So now let's give it another spin. We'll open it right up now. <coughs> so what I want to do is we're just going to remove all our excess because I've got a bad habit of sticking my finger in it and it splatters all over the artwork. That is bad. So once we've done that, we're going to give it just one more spin. So that way we can see if we've got any more pillow that's moving around because it'll come over the sides and let us know. So now, see how nothing's coming off at all? That's ready to lift up and we can have a look at it. So that is our swipe one this week. So just a simple colour palette, nothing overboard. But don't you get some cool effects? It's just something anyone can have a play with and turn out with a result that deserves a happy dance. And look at that under the black light. Don't those neons pop. It's really cool to see, isn't it? Just highlights those cells like no other. So I'll also I'll get um, Venom to chuck a close-up of this reel up right now so you can have a look. And then what we'll do is pause and we'll come back with our loaded palette knife with the same colours. Hope you enjoyed part one, guys. I'll be back real soon. Alrighty then, we are back to play with the loaded palette knife. So this time, tool of choice. It's only little compared to the last one, isn't it? So what we're going to do is, we're going to use the same colours as I mentioned earlier on the first swipe. And we're going to start with laying our CA down first. So just a nice coat there. And you don't need too much, just enough to coat over the head of the palette knife. So that way when you tip it, it's not dripping off. It's not going anywhere, it's staying on there. That's more than enough for what we want to do. So we're just going to lay our first colour across the top. And what I'll do, once I've laid all the colours on, I'll show you just how much I've put on. Just so you get a rough guideline. It doesn't have to be the same. You'll, you'll get the... Um, idea when you've done a few yourself on what's going to suit what you're doing. It doesn't have to be the same as everybody else. What works for some doesn't work for others. And that's what I actually love about this style of art. You can admire and watch so many other people's artworks but really there's no rules. 
you'll find your one thing and it'll just turn into a happy dance so that's all I've got so I can t twist and turn it's really not going anywhere it's not too much on there so what we're going to do is go in for our first one and always just hold on a little bit of an angle and just into the pillow and just bring her down so that's number one so I find the joy of this one too as you're laying different colors down you're seeing what it's doing if you make a mistake and here you can see I haven't got many cells in that bit doesn't matter we can load the palette up again and make some cells happen so I think this is a fun fun style to play with just because it really leaves room for error it really does there's nothing you sort of can't fix with it so we might just lay some different colors down and well same colors as before but just in different orders and let's just see how they change that is the fun of it so you're sort of experimenting as you go by changing the colors up and just seeing what different effects you get as you go so as I said I'm not a fan of that bit right there so we don't have to keep it we're going to plop in there and we're just going to move that down there now we've got cells where we didn't have them before pretty cool right let's go for another one and just remember that CA coating on your palette knife doesn't have to be thick just a nice fine layer across the top because you've got to think you're not dealing with a lot of paint when you're doing a palette knife swipe it's only the color you're putting down on that palette knife it's all right I may go silent every now and then so I'm concentrating not to drip <laughs> different color paints into Venom's lovely eye candies we can always hide the evidence but I'm too honest for that and a little bit of our kin gold down last this time let's just see how that pops its head so I think what we might do now <clears throat> we really don't have much over here oh I like that one that one's pretty cool so I think one more on this size is going to do us and if you sort of want to see what's going to happen in between you can always give it a little bit of a spin in between not too much but just enough so you can see how things are going to move in different directions before you do your next swipe if you like but I just like to go in, in straight away I get it I like the surprise at the end it's an adventure now nearly forgot my pebio just a creature of habit I love using at least one tube paint I just think that binds it all together and last but not least our kin for our glitz and glamour in the gold all right so I think we'll turn it upside down just so we get something down the bottom there so there are our four loaded palette knife swipes to start with so before I do anything to it even consider grabbing out a skewer 
I want to see just what she's going to do first. Some really cool cells down here. Alright, let's give her a spin. Open her up just a little bit. I don't want to go too far yet. I just want to get the pillow to start moving to see where it's taken her for me. Alright, so we'll stop there. And what we'll do is grab our skewer out. So, see we ended up with some bold bits on the edge there? That's no big deal. Let's just bring our skewer through them and make it into something. Break it up a bit. And there we go. Down here we're a bit, bit bold. Just breaks that up a little bit. We'll come in here. So that's what I mean. The joy of these type of swipes really are fantastic for beginners because even there, you could see I got this really bold colour and no cells at the end. But what does it matter? Change it. Make it your own. There we go. Now, what do we reckon? Same with this bit. Let's bring it through. That way you get a nice blend of those colours coming through as well. I'll take that one in. There we go. Something a bit different in there. I'm such a sucker for the abstract look. Always have been. Probably tell I'm a big, huge Salvador Dali fan. The man was just absolutely incredible. So I don't think that needs much. Just a little bit maybe of a flick. Walk it up a bit. Alrighty. So, that's where we're at right now. We'll check we've got no pesky bubbles through there. Or we might get lucky bubbles. Just hoping I hadn't broken another one of Venom's. I always drop these in the in the slop bucket. Doesn't make him smile politely, I tell you. <laughs> the amount I've had to replace. Alright, let's give it a spin. Now we can go a little bit more. So we really want to get that pillow going to the edge now. And that way you'll see we didn't have a lot of colour down on that palette knife but look how much a little bit's going a long way so if you are on a bit of a budget and you're just starting out and you don't have a lot of money to waste at least with this type of technique you can get something that's really cool and you've only used a little bit of paint which i think is really cool now, what I'm going to do is just give it a bit more. I can see it's just still moving a bit on that centre. So what we'll do is wipe our edges, as Venom always teaches me. Because I've got a habit of walking away happy dancing, going, look at what I just did. And you come back the next day and go, oh dear. So it's best to spin it out properly. So if we give it one more go now... We're going to see if any more is running over those edges, which it isn't. Winner, winner. So what I'm going to do is we'll hold her up. And I hope that has inspired you to have a go. That is our second one for this week, our loaded palette knife swipe. So you see a little bit of colour goes a really long way. So what I'll do, I'll get my fantastic cameraman, Venom himself, aka Darren slash Wombat, to do a close-up for me and do a reel, but look at that black light. Oh, wow. Doesn't that look really, really cool? Excellent. So I'll get him to do a nice close-up so you can have a look. But... Please stay on the Express after me today, guys, because we have got 
an amazing artist on today. It's going to be an absolute treat for you. I have followed this amazing woman since I started painting. And her name is um, Joanna Ralstein. She is just an incredible artist and a fantastic person. And I am absolutely so honoured and thrilled that she's joining us today. So make sure you are subscribed so you can jump in that chat and give her a big, warm Fluid Art Express welcome. And that is it for me this week, guys. So until next time, take care, stay safe, and I'm sure I'll see you in the next one. Have a fantastic day.